when I was in college, someone at some point told me, um, you know, if you're going to make movies, don't shoot on the water, don't shoot with children, and don't shoot with animals. Uh, and our movie is really about children and animals on boats. My name is Ben Zeitlin. My film is Beasts of the Southern Wild, and it's premiering in the U.S. Dramatic Competition at the 2012 Sundance Film Festival. The film is about a little girl who lives uh, in this town called the Bathtub that's on the wrong side of a water protection wall. So she lives cut off from the map, and the story is basically about her and her father and the series of epic apocalyptic events that she thinks that she's caused. The way that I work is I sort of start, find the story, and I kind of know who the characters are, and I have a sense of what it's about. And, you know, I knew the film was going to be shot with non-actors, so we try to start casting very early on. Over the course of about eight months, I think we looked at about 3,500 uh, different kids, and it was like over the course of that process that we started to figure out who the character was, we realized that it was a girl. She was much younger than we than we had originally thought, that her the way that her mind worked was much closer to about a six-year-old than it was an 11-year-old. And we just learned that by actually spending all these time, all this time with these kids and casting. Maisie, uh, our Quivangene, when she, when she showed up for her callback, she was the first person to come in. It was like this shocking uh, thing where you see different children do a scene so many times, and then suddenly you're like looking at a warrior in the, in the part, and it's like, it, you just have this moment of realization that this is, your character and it's not at all who the character was and it's not at all who you were imagining, but it's so clear that the spirit is exactly uh, the spirit of the movie and the spirit of the part. South Louisiana is its own sort of apocalyptic landscape. It's like the, with the oil spill, it's like this stuff was actually kind of happening where there was one day on the shoot where we woke up and they were talking about closing fishing for 10 years in the town where we were shooting. And that's what they do, they, you know, it's a fishing town. So it's, it's, there's a real apocalypse. And Sundance Labs are really a process of like self uh, investigation. They like break you down and they sort of tear apart your ideas and they force you to think of what exactly it is that makes you like an idea. Every frame of the movie, I can tell you why it's there, you know, which I could not have, I could not have done before the labs.